welcome Pisces. I'm coming y'all. Give me a second. I got to grab a few things. I forgot to grab. <laughs> All right. So welcome y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do a mid month. I'm going to start doing mid month readings. Um, so I want to see what's coming towards Pisces for the remainder of July, okay? We're going to start doing this. I'm going to try to do this every month, all right? So if you guys would like to purchase your own personal reading with the Empress, that information is going to be in the drop box below, as well as check out my merchandise, guys. I have a merchandise store. Check out my merch. It's at the um, right above the description box. All right, I have a few items there for purchase if you want to support the channel. All right, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys stick around, click the bell to subscribe. There's more content to come. All right, and if this message happens to resonate with you, good. It was your message. You know, they are general reads, so they won't resonate with every single Pisces. So, with that being said, guys, let's let's do it. What message do you have for my Pisces? Pisces. Give me a message for Pisces for the remainder of July, please. From now until the end of July. What message is there for Pisces? What message do we have for Pisces? Oh, okay. We got release. All right, so you guys are taking action to release something here, okay? Something that possibly you were bound to, stuck to, chained to. You are deciding to put your foot forward and let this situation go. You're releasing something. It could be energy. It could be a negative thought. It's something, could be something, you know, an addiction of some sort, okay? Some of you guys are taking action to release. You guys are releasing something here. Something negative. Something that's been holding you back. Something that's been holding you down. You're letting it go. You are letting this go. Good for you, Pisces. We got mask. All right? So someone here could possibly have been wearing a mask you could have been wearing a mask in this situation you may have been trying to mask your feelings mask your uh thoughts about a situation um you may someone may have been wearing a mask okay we got signs okay maybe you've been throwing out signs or hints or someone may have been throwing out signs and hints towards you Okay, and we have conclusion. Okay, so it looks like you've been patient long enough, okay? I feel like you feel like, okay, this has been going on long enough, okay? This has been going on long enough. I'm ready to wrap this up. I'm ready to wrap this up. You guys, you guys, I feel like you don't want this interfering with your weight. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to climb up the ladder here. Okay, someone isn't showing any signs of forgiveness here. So you're deciding to release it yourself. You're going to have to release. You're going to have to do the work to release this situation. Okay, because you're done with this. Like you want to wrap this up. You want this to be over and done with. Wow, Pisces. Yeah, see, look, we got the nine of wands. We got the nine of wands, the king of cups. Yeah, King of Cups and the world. Like, once again, y'all are ready to wrap this up, okay? I got the King of Wands. I got the Ace of Cups for future energy. I got the Two of Wands. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor which is Aries, this energy, but this is also like the father card, okay? This is also, could represent someone older than you, okay? So you could be dealing with someone that's older than you, someone that is possibly a father or a father figure, or someone um, that's in a, a position of authority, okay? You may feel like this person may have been trying to manipulate you, 
or been has been playing mind games with you. But I also feel like you guys are trying to make a change, okay? You're trying to make you're trying to make the best out of a messed up situation. Okay. I got the Ten of Wands. I got the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords here as well, too. Now we got the Nine of Wands here. Ooh, look at this wanted to just jump out. The Tower and the Empress. Now we have the Mother and the Father card here. So for a lot of you guys, this could most definitely um, be something towards a family member, um, a mother or a father. With the Nine of Wands here and the Tower here, I feel like you may have been trying to, you've been trying to avoid um, this tower moment, but I feel like there's, you've been avoiding it for too long, for quite some time now. We got the King of Cups, you guys' is energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like this is emotions, okay? This is the emotional attachment to this situation, okay? Why is the King of Cups here? The Hierophant, Taurus is energy. A Taurus could be involved. Why is the Hierophant here? Knight of Wands. I feel like the Hierophant is a form of commitment. This could be someone's husband with the King of Cups and the Hierophant. The Hierophant card is the marriage card as well. Um, as tradition, doing things by the book, the King of Cups being the um, husband energy, okay? We got the Knight of Wands here. What's the Knight of Wands here? The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. I feel like you've been trying to move forward. You're trying to progress. But this situation is like keeping you up at night. It's worrying you. It's constantly on your mind. Okay? You want closure from this situation. That's the the goal is to wrap this situation up. Okay? Yeah, with the death card. Okay? You're trying to close a chapter here. You're trying to close a chapter. Ace of Cups. This is your feelings, okay? You've been avoiding uh, expressing yourself. The High Priestess. You guys' is energy. Knight of Cups. This is an invitation. This is also um, uh, this is also communication. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah, see the Emperor. We got the Mother and the Father card here, okay? It's like, yeah, I know how, how people feel about their father or how they feel about this person so you've been trying to avoid this situation you i feel like you really want closure you want to wrap this situation up you want to wrap your feelings you want to detach your feelings to the situation why is the king of wands here the fool I got the Queen of Pentacles. I got the Three of Pentacles. Three people could be involved. I got the Queen of Pentacles. Someone here could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, female. It doesn't have to be a female, but um, they could carry that energy. Okay, Three of Pentacles is building, working together, cooperating. Someone work, someone actually being at work with the Queen of Pentacles here, that is, um, working on your finances. And then we got the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So I feel like there's regrets behind this situation about an action that was taken. With the Fool here, this is saying that somebody could have possibly overstepped the boundary here or took some type of risk. Why is the Fool here? And Ten of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Something here about something not being worked or not sure how this was going to work, okay? Future energy is the two of wands. So that's preparing, making some plans. Why is the two of wands here? The ten of pentacles. 
Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you're looking ahead. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, you're looking ahead. Okay, you're trying to plan ahead for your future. But you you feel like you have to wrap up this chapter first. A chapter needs to be completely closed because what's coming ahead is so beautiful. I got the two of wands. This is plans, preparing for your future, okay? You could be planning your future with a loved one, with a significant other, but or you have some type of partnership here. But I definitely see you planning ahead and you're thinking about the bag. This is also family oriented. Some of you guys may be building a family business or I'm getting trying to leave a legacy behind. Um, because I got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. So your focus is on building and working towards something for the long run. You're looking at the long run in this in this situation, okay? But there's something that needs closure, okay? There's a situation or something that's still tugging at you that you haven't let go of. But I feel like you're getting ready to. I feel that for you, Pisces. This is Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Seeding the light, laying foundations, and divine plan. Okay? So, for some of you, this is about laying a new foundation. Okay? And this, a lot of y'all are coming to an awaken are going through an awakening here um that there needs to be a new foundation laid out some of y'all are needing to do some deep replenishment um retreating <laughs> taking a rest okay give me one more card oh thank you you gave me two longing for home belonging the original light workers See something here about get grounded. And you want to share something. I feel like it's something that you want to share with the world or share with someone. And this is going to help you get grounded. Okay, and I also have double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So whatever this is that you want to share, this is helping you balance yourself out and become more grounded. Okay. Share your voice, Pisces. There's something that you need to say or something that you need to get off your chest. I feel like you should do it. Now's the time to do that. Now is the time to do that. Let's see what the angels have to say. Because something needs to be released. Something that you've been holding on to that you need to let go of. That you need to heal from. What message is there for Pisces for the remainder of July? Thank you. I got a lot of messages for you, Pisces. There's something that you possibly could or need to reconsider. I got romance and I got unlikely. In the near future, there could possibly be something that you need to reconsider. And it's because you need to get more information. It could involve your romance life. Okay. But I feel like I feel like there's something here that's unlikely. But you're still trying to remain positive or spirit wants you to remain positive because out of all of this success is going to come. Okay, but I want to see why the romance is here. I got the judgment and the nine of pentacles that jumped that popped right out. And then you guys energy right here at the bottom of the deck as well as the sun card. Okay, so I feel like. This is with romance, okay? I feel like you guys possibly are going through some type of awakening, okay? Some of you guys are going through an awakening here. Somebody could possibly want a second chance with you, Pisces, but you may be feeling like you're better off being single, 
okay? You feel like you're more emotionally balanced and happier when you're single, okay? Now, unlikely, why is unlikely here? We got the devil, Capricorn's energy. But this is also, yeah, see, you're not, you, I feel like you don't want to return to someone or deal with something that's negative. I feel like you are you really are trying to let go of this energy. There's this devil energy that could be lurking around you, okay? This energy of negativity or this energy of addiction or something um, that's been bound or you feel bound to. I feel like you don't want to go back to that, okay? And it's unlikely that you will. I feel like once you let this go, you're done. See, look, six of swords. <laughs> Soon as I said that, baby. And then, see, you've gotten over this broken heart. You're trying to heal. You are trying to heal. You're trying to heal. You want to tell your side of the story, I feel like. Your side of the story matters. I feel like you've been withholding something, your side of the story, okay? In the near future, ooh, the Four of Swords. And here you go again, Queen of Cups and the Sun again. You'll be happier, okay? But I feel like y'all need to take a break. Y'all need to rest. Y'all need to, to um, give yourself some healing and downtime. <clears throat> Get more information. Let's see. Get more information. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys are investing. Uh, but I feel like... I feel like... For some of you, this could definitely involve family. And for some of you, this is involving your finances, okay? So somebody's trying to get more information about your finances or you're trying to get information about somebody's financial situation here, okay? Somebody's trying to see what someone has financially because I got the Ten of Pentacles as well as the Five of Pentacles. So someone's definitely trying to get more information on someone's finances, okay? Now we got Remain Positive here. The tower, yeah. You you are trying to stay positive even in a messed up situation here, okay? This could be your energy. Some of y'all feel like, uh, like the tower, okay? I got the ace of wands. Ace of wands and the star card. Why is the ace of wands here? The seven of wands. And the moon, the lovers, nine of swords, chariot. After this tower moment, there's definitely a bright new beginning here. Like, there's a new start with the ace of wands. You guys could be going on some type of creative endeavor. Um, you got star quality here with the star card. Seven of Wands, this is you standing your ground, coming out. Like, you've been, you've been through a battle here. You're battling something here. And it looks like you're going to come out better. Look, we got success here. Some of y'all feel betrayed, okay? You feel betrayed. Somebody feels betrayed here. Emotionally, um, I feel like this could definitely involve someone's husband or something to that nature. And Pisces, I feel like you are now, you're going to come out of this so strong here with the strength card. You're going to be so, 
with the nine of wands, this is like on your P's and Q's, okay? But I feel like y'all want somebody to regret something. And for some of you, I feel like this could be a mother or this could be a, a, a woman in your family or someone that you're close to. Because I have this Empress and the Emperor card reveal itself too many times. So for some of you, this is something in, in something that you've been carrying around on your back for a while. Okay. And it's something that you want to say, you want to tell your side of the story. Why is the Empress here? Two of Wands. When you're ready. Okay, when you're ready, you are going to. <laughs> and then we got the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so, and then we got people watching you. Okay, you're being watched and talked about. Okay, you're being watched and talked about. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're being watched and talked about. And, I mean, I'm, I'm just getting that. Pisces, is time to share your voice whatever that means to you whether it be directly to someone's face you telling them how you feel whether it be in a letter whether it be in a text message a text message whatever form i feel like it's going to help you release because i feel like you guys have been holding on or holding back from saying something for a long time and now the time has presented itself you know a lot of times when you go through mercury retrogrades it brings back old feelings and things that you've been keeping hidden in your subconscious things that you think like it brings things back to the surface that it hasn't the cycle hasn't completed okay so if you feel like there's something that you want to say pisces say it okay all right y'all if this message resonated with you, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like and share this story, all right? Ciao for now.